back at Keystone Polishing in beautiful Somerset, Pennsylvania. We're here with Todd Gribble, and I just asked him off camera, Todd, when's the last time you slept? Like Christmas? Uh, Christmas. <laughs> He's been, it, we were here, geez, it must have been about eight weeks ago, and he had this truck and two or three other show trucks, including mine, uh, that were basically all frame ups. But this one here, you really knocked this out of the park. Do you have a name for this truck? Uh, oh. I go on. I forget it now. Mixed opinions. Mixed opinions. Okay. And it used to say on the back here, um, it used to say, or on the back of the trailer, here it is. Can you uh, walk? The, that's year. cool. Can you walk the walk? This, this truck, when I first met Todd, I was at the Mid, Mid America Truck Show a year ago, almost to the day last weekend. And I was asking people who were the best guys for, for, doing truck customizing and painting and, and they said oh, all the heavy hitters are down on that row right there go talk to todd from keystone and i walked up and this truck was mobbed like five people deep if you look at the video drooling on the engine and everything because every square inch of this and i came back after i dropped my truck off six months later and he had won first place and he had this thing stripped down i'm like what oh my god i thought it was the most beautiful truck i ever seen and he's gonna make it even better and what what was it what was what did you tell me about that Bigger and better is what I think you said. Bigger and better. So what, is, what inspired you to take the People's Choice truck and take it to the next level? Because it obviously is a labor of love. That and uh, the people that I compete with, they upgraded theirs. So to be competitive, I had to upgrade. How many years you and your pops been going to the shows? Because your, da your dad started this whole thing years ago, didn't he? Yeah, dad started this in 2002. And he came to win too, didn't he? He, 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 didn't... he took second in Louisville. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yep. Like thousands of trucks, right? Yeah, dad won uh, $25,000 back then. And your son, Kendall, is in the industry now, so you got three generations working yep. together to turn out this type of product. And you got guys like Chad who are world-class painters on the team and polishers and it was a one-stop shop. I mean, I dropped my truck off. It was basically a turd, and now it looks like a show truck. <laughs> you know, I, uh, before, it was like Sanford. Is that Sanford and Son out there? Now, yeah. now you pull in, you're like, oh, is this a factory Kenworth team or something? And it looks beautiful. Thrilled with what you do with my truck. But let, let's tell us a little bit about this truck, because it really is defies description, every square inch of its custom. When I bought the truck, it was 275 wheelbase. We stretched it to three, 313. Yep. This year... We uh, took the 48 inch bunk off of it, put a 60 inch, 62 inch stand up, and I took the stand up roof and I cut 15 inches out of it. There's a whole story that your girlfriend Amy told me on the way back from the airport about the cab. Now this, this didn't come easy. This, this sleeper was a, was a project, right? Yeah, it was, we dug it out of the woods and we re it, re-stripped it, everything. And then we sent it down to uh, Lancaster, PA, and they did all the upholstery down at spare time. Wow. Will you look at this? Look at this. Did you drag this out of the woods how long ago? Uh, it was in uh, January we drug it out of the woods. Like 12 weeks ago? Now it's like the nicest cab I've ever seen. Freaking remarkable. Absolutely unbelievable. Why this cab? What, 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 uh, what was so special about this particular cab? Because I know it was something special about it. Because it was a stand-up bunk. Yeah. And I wanted, uh, we wanted to cut 50, we wanted to bring the stand up down to like a mid roof. So we cut 15 inches out of it. Holy moly. That's not, don't try that at home, kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did you do this on the back here? Because this is absolutely freaking beautiful. Did it with a, uh, a brake, a metal brake. Wow. It looks like. There's about 30 hours there putting that. It that. looks symmetrically perfect, and it, the, the way it, it reflects the light off of it is pretty remarkable. Um, describe what, what this is here. That is an air intake from my blower that blows the load of sand off my trailer. So you, you haul sand in this thing? <laughs> I did up until Christmas. <laughs> well, doesn't look, that's, that sure doesn't look like it. We'll get to the trailer in a second, but... Um, Everything about this, this is all super polished. This, that's your hallmark is wheel polishing here, right? That's what yes. you guys, they have a yes, whole, sir. that's a professional business they do here. And we started it 15 years ago. You, you, this is all custom back here too? Yes, sir. I made that here. 
freaking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, it had a great paint job on it last year, but you stripped the whole thing right down and, and, and did it completely over. What do you call this color? It's called Deep Tropical Blue. One of my favorite colors. It's absolutely beautiful. And that, this is an Alcoa Holland Hitch that um, has been brilliantly polished. It's got a little coat of wax on it there still. And they routed it in the side and put that stripe in there. So, did you do the frame? Uh, you do did the frame lengthening right here? Yes, we did it right here. So you did the whole frame up right here and uh, in house. And the thing has evolved over the, the the show season. This is, I think you told me the fourth version of it. Yeah, it's the fourth time we've redone it. What does this do right here? That's called. That's the blower that blows the sand off my trailer for them to frack these gas wells with. Wow. The uh, the heart that's pretty cool too. That is that was that uh, obviously something you had, you put in there. Had to cut that to size and yeah, that's yeah, that's custom made. This is pretty cool. Keystone wheel polishing. Thanks first and foremost, my late wife and mother, my children, Rhonda Gribble. Horse and buggy chrome. J Farrell custom trucks polished by Kendall Shine. That that's your son, right? That's my son. Yes. Th third generation. He did some polishing up in here too. You can see <laughs> that <laughs> he was uh, he's got some blisters on his hands. I'm yeah. sure. Painted by Chad Walker and Barry Smith, uh, ITI trailers, Morocco welding, lighting by Brett Shawless. You know, uh, it, hey, they, they take, they say, they say it takes a, a village to 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 to, to raise a family. Uh, it takes a it takes a, a city to build a truck like yeah, this, right? Yeah. We got Adam Sander. Hey, I even made the list. Ken Kaplan, freaking yep. awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't expect that. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Croons Customs Paint. Jeff Etling, Eddie Hoffman, Evans Detailing, Jeremy Horse Science, Spare Time Fab, Rad Solutions. That's the radio guy and the stereo. We, I want to demo the stereo in the video, but uh, eBay or YouTube won't show the video if it has like like uh, copyrighted music on it. But this stereo is the most amazing stereo I've ever heard in, in any vehicle, let alone a truck. Ten thousand watts. It's rid absolutely ridiculous. It's it's a uh, it'll shake the whole. But you can hear it in the other building, a quarter mile down the road here. <laughs> And a special thanks for mom and dad at Keystone Wheel. Um, his mom's over here, I think, uh, in the other other room over there looking at that truck. But his dad, um, he works here side by side. Your dad's been doing this for a long time. When I, last time I was here, Christy and I, we woke up at 7 o'clock in the morning. So we were camping here uh, in the other bay uh, as you guys are working on, on one of our trucks. And uh, 7 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, your pops is in here polishing mm -hmm. set of heads for, uh, for one of your clients. So it's very much a family. Look at that color. Freaking beautiful. Just beautiful. So you, d you really went to town on the engine, too. You really took this to the next level here. Um, yeah, we pulled it out. Had it all sandblasted. Sent the head away. We rebuilt it completely. That's badass. The, that's a hand pinstripe, right? Yes, sir. Wow. This engine, it looks nicer than the outside of most trucks ever do. Um, this is a ridiculous amount of uh, time and effort been put into this. You can see everything's polished and stainless and er every nook and cranny is. And Jay Furrow made me a custom stainless steel air rod. That's incredible. Everything's painted that, that um, what color blue is it again? Deep. Tropical blue. Deep tropical blue. Is, is that a uh, is that a, a Peterbilt color or? That's a Peterbilt color. Wow. This now this is this is the twin uh, or the uh, split windshield traditional long long nose large car. It's the biggest they make biggest one they make right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Badass. What about the stacks? Are those um? What are those? Five inch. So this thing's gonna bark, huh? Yeah, I went back to went back to old school. So things have come full circle like uh, it was. Everybody's putting the 8-inch, 10-inch. Now this is going to give you a much raspier, gnarlier yes. sound, right? Yes. Especially yes. coming on off the Jake brakes, right? Yep, yep. Wow. Michelin tires, XEE2s. How many horse is this thing putting down now? It's 1,400 at the flywheel, 1,120 at the rear wheels. Have you had a chance to take it out yet, or, or no, but no. you're itching, itching to take I'm it out. Itching to get it out. What, what, when's your maiden voyage? Uh, Monday, I think you're heading to Florida. Yeah, we're heading to Florida Monday. Wow. So if you want to see this truck, you'll be down at the 75 Chrome Shop 
next weekend, right? Yes, sir. That, that's a national too. That's a national yes. event. Freaking awesome. This hood is really special too. Well, describe what you did here. I uh, brought back the old time. I brought it, butterfly it. Put it, the butterfly hood on it, but it'll open through uh, two ways now. The normal way plus the butterflies will open. They're all electrically actuated. Wow. I didn't notice I didn't notice that. I thought that was done manually. You've got this whole thing set up on a you hit a button and it yep. open up. Yes, sir. Wow. That's freaking awesome. I can't imagine how much time, uh, you know, through the four revisions of this truck, how much time and effort you put into it, but it's really really a, a, a next level vehicle. I mean, it's there's nothing like it on the road, man. Freaking beautiful. What what does Aussie stand for? That's the that's the gentleman that rebuilt my motor. My God, that turbo is that just turbo polished stainless or what is that? It's uh, chrome. Chrome. That's the cold side of the turbo. Wow. So it's a, a twin compound turbo, twin turbo. Yes, sir. It makes some nice turbo noises going down the road. Yeah, it's made by PDI. Wow. Even the coolant reservoir is painted. We put bus wind, bus windshields in it. What's a what's a bus windshield? The tent's made right into the windshield, and in school buses they put the tent at the top. Okay. But in the trucking world, they turn them around and put the tent at the bottom. Look at that! Yeah, I didn't even notice that till you mentioned it. I see that. Yeah, on the bottom. Huh? Yeah, that's all. When I started the video off, I said there's a lot of subtle touches on here that. You, I mean, it would you'd ha it'd be a two-hour video if you talked about every single thing you did because every single piece of this truck has been customized, modified, yes. painted, polished, or replaced with something. We firewall better. off. We took about ninety-five percent of all the wiring off the firewall. Where is it? Inside the cab. Inside the cab. Just to give it that clean, custom look. Yes. Th these are stainless. Yes. Wow. It was made by uh, B&H Tube. You know what I like about the People's Choice Award? Because there's no politics involved. It's whatever the people like, you know, and that, that you win in the People's Choice. To me, that's the most, because when it comes to judges, what if the dude doesn't like blue, you know? Right, <laughs> you right. Know? But, but you get, you get 5,000 people that, that, that do a People's Choice and, and, and uh, you're getting the real, the real deal. Um, this is just incredible. Who did this um, JL Audio graph here? This is pretty cool. Uh, Rad, the guy that built the stereo system. He did this too? Yeah, he did the Rob engraving. Did an amazing job. Uh, are those, are these all the speakers? This shows how many speakers it has? Yes, I, that is the description of what's in the truck. Holy shit. There's 20 speakers and eight subwoofers? Yes. Man, you got to be a wiring genius just to, just to, and, and Rob is, Rob, Rob's as, as, as obsessed with stereos as you are with trucks, am I correct? Yes, yes, <laughs> I love this bench seat in the back here. Is it, does this fold onto a bed too? Yes. They call that a jackknife couch. Wow. What, what, what is this, birch the cabin? Are these cabins birch? Yes. Really nice. And we marbled the floor. Notice the, the, the door doesn't have a handle on it. That's been all Frenched in on this side. So you don't have to worry about the lot lizards trying to get in. <laughs> Uninvited. <laughs> wow. Hey, was the dash this color last year? Yes. That's beautiful. Just beautiful. Can I step on the step? Yes. Wow. What kind of seats are these? Uh, they're called nod Noddlers. They look super comfy. When you bought this truck, um, this was was this a glider? Yes. So you got to choose the engine, the transmission, everything, right? Well, I bought it off a a company here in Somerset. Yeah. They they did that. So they they had her, so so, but it, it, it's a pre obviously with the glider, the engines a pre DEF, pre emissions, yes. pre ELOC, all that bull crap. Yes. Really nice. What kind of pedals are those? Uh, they are uh, United Pacific. Really nice. Top shelf. Let me shift around this thing. 
stunning. The blue and the white really works well together, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It's all the little touches like the polished door jams. All that adds up to a lot of time and effort. These 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 uh door jams that Rob did are just like a like I don't know like a work of art basically. Yeah, Rob did a fantastic job. Wow, freaking amazing! Congratulations, uh, you guys really uh, really have outdone yourselves uh, uh, if that's possible. You know, uh, this thing was beautiful when I saw it last year. Now it's just next level. So the stereo system has a couple of. Uh, Cool features that aren't quite finished yet. Um, I heard there's going to be a tower sitting outside that people can program in the song that they want to listen to. Is that is that correct? Yeah, you can, you'll be able to go up to a laptop and put your favorite song in, and it'll play through the radio. It's freaking awesome. Who needs alcohol and drugs when you got a truck like this? You just hop in and rip the knob off the stereo, and you're going to feel better instantly. Like my dad used to say, "If you ain't happy right now, you'll never be happy when you're driving this <laughs> hey, thing." You're right. It's all, like I said, it's all the little touches, like the stainless, you know, air ride and everything. Let's check out the trailer, too, because that, that, that's really a conversation piece all itself. Um, what kind of trailer is, is this, Todd? It's a 2015 Mac. Freaking absolute. It looks like it was dipped in chrome, but it has that deep aluminum luster, that chrome. Chrome is almost like a little, little it doesn't have that, that dark glow i don't know how to describe it but um it's it's freaking beautiful so your son kendall polished this whole thing yes yes he did you taught him well <laughs> unbelievable now what kind of this is uh this this is a specialty trailer for hauling specialty sands to construction sites am i, am I right or what was it what gas was it? welds gas welds yes well they haul i uh, haul frack sand frack sand what is a load of frac sand worth? Like, like they say around half a million dollars. Holy shit! <laughs> wow, that's some expensive ass sand right there, huh? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> you find some of that. What is frac sand? It's real sharp and small, and then they push it down the hole, and they put it under pressure, and it opens up the rocks. So the gas comes out between the rocks and comes up the hole, and that's where you get natural gas. Wow. Very cool. Scribble up top there, their last name. So describe the trailer to us. What are we looking at as we walk down here? Uh, well, I changed all my lights to glass lenses this year. And as you're right there, you can look up underneath. I can't, I covered oh, the man. The mirrored stainless. Wow. That's the stuff that you don't notice until you take a second look, yeah. right? <laughs> it's, it, the devil's in the details. In this right here? That's just a mud flap that I've added just to be decorative. With stainless and, and to keep your, all your hard work clean. Is that aluminum or is that... That are aluminum dollies. And I had custom dolly feet made. Wow. And it has the word Mac cut in them. Is Mac the... the trailer brand or? yeah that's who made the trailer what's going on in here that's some that's some really high-end looking wood in there i just made my cabinets hardwood floor this year wow is this aluminum or the the pipe there is all stainless steel polished like a diamond and then this cabinet here it's also Look at that, huh? Man, the thought of sand going anywhere near this would would, would have me a little nervous. <laughs> oh man, are you ever you going to use it to haul sand again? No, it's it's retired. It's way too nice to take out this sand. Now, your son would probably have a heart attack if he saw this thing out in the dirt, huh? <laughs> he would be very happy. <laughs> oh man. And it used to be a uh, a tandem which that means the tires are close together. Okay. And uh, you made it a spread axle? I made it a spread axle here. It looks badass. It's a nine, nine, nine foot two inch spread. Wow. Both axles will lift off the ground. And that matches the, uh, the heart and the truck too? Yes. 
Is there any special meaning to the, the heart? That's a tribute to my wife, my late wife. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's freaking remarkable what you've done here, Todd. It's just unbelievable. Uh, are those stairs to, to, to climb up the, the trailer? Yes. Climb up the trailer to open your lids. That's wow. how they load the sand in the top. Wow. Remember Chevy pickup bed rails? Have the people from Mac Trailer see, the, seen, seen what you've done yes, with their trailer? Yes, they have. This, should, this should be on their, on their catalogs, you know. Uh, it should be their, their poster child for what you can do with one. It used to say, uh, busting my ass so I can kick yours, right? Yep. Am I right? <laughs> this is a little more politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Ken Dale Shine. That, that's your, your son's name. And uh, yep. I would say he uh, made the magic happen here for sure. Then we put a we put a rock wall in the cabin. That's awesome. Hey, every Mac trailer should have a rock wall inside the cabinet, huh? <laughs> That's insane. So cool. Yep, you'll be turning heads all the way down, all the way down down uh down ninety one or eighty one. Are you taking eighty one down to Florida? Ninety five. Ninety five. If you have your CV on, you probably can't get any qu a piece of, you don't get any peace and quiet, but it's... Right, <laughs> right. Wow. Just incredible. Well, I'm sure you're going you're gonna to be kicking ass again this year on the show circuit. We wish you the best of luck with the truck and trailer here. I don't think you need it. I mean, it's, uh, you know what I say? Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. <laughs> and you've done all the preparation here. Really amazing job. Yeah, we're proud of it. We're really proud of it. Yeah, it definitely, it, the truck uh, makes a statement for sure. And, and you're in the business, is three generations uh, polishing and painting and building custom trucks. This is kind of like your calling card too, to show people, hey, you know, imagination's a limit. You can do, you want a rock wall in, in a, <laughs> inside your truck, you guys are a killer stereo or anything. You can get it done here at Keystone. Just give Todd a call. He'll, he'll, he'll answer the phone. And, and uh, they're here pretty much all, all the time. Every weekend I've been here, they're all here still working because definitely a labor of love to go this far on a truck. Um, it's beyond, uh, this is not a, a job it, it, for you it's it's something that you're obviously very passionate about and, and it's it, to me it's artwork seeing seeing it take to see it take the people's choice truck down to the frame and completely redo it is is freaking uh it's an obsession and a labor of love there's no other way to describe it is it i mean nope. you wouldn't do it if you don't love it right nope. i love doing it we all do my son my dad my mom we all love it that's awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoy uh, your your first show and that you guys clean up and uh, take all the trophies home. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. God bless America. And Todd, thank you for making my truck really something to be proud of, too. You're welcome. It's not as special as your truck, but it's pretty damn special. So I love it. It's very nice. Very nice truck. Thank you, Todd. Yeah, I've, I've got that big...